Aries, welcome. It's your end of December 2021. Heart spread read for love, romance, and relationship. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I've already set up the reading. It's eight cards in the shape of a heart. You can see the outcome here being Sagittarius card, Temperance. It's a complicated reading, and I admit to sitting with this for a few minutes before I even started, and I have to keep reminding myself that this is a reading for the one you just can't get out of your mind, the one you can't stop thinking about. That makes all the difference. It's um, a heart spread reads you. This is your energy, and this is your person, and kind of trying to tell what's going on between you guys. Now, where you are with love, romance, and relationship, I would say in this read, particularly around this person, is coming in with the bottom of the deck as the Page of Wands. And then you're coming in with the Two of Wands. And this is your energy. So, um, And you're actually looking away um, from the read. So I get the feeling uh, you would have been the one that reached out in the first place to make this happen. And I think you're dealing with someone here who's in not only married or in a long-term committed relationship, but happily so, because their energy over here in and around love and relationships is the Ten of Cups. And that could be nothing else other than uh, happiness, emotional fulfillment, and love and family life here. So... Um, this has to be an affair of some kind. And I see here, this is you, your energy, as you are relating to them. That's what this is supposed to read. Obviously, you know what this is. Two things here. One, I want to see if this resonates with you. Two, I kind of want to get a beat on where you're at uh, in order to really understand. Because what I'm really reading for is the dynamics here. I mean, you probably already know that they're married. This is the one I'm trying to ask Spirit here in the name of light and love to give us some further insight into what's going on uh, really with you. I think particularly this reading points out. Um, but in your mind, remember, swords are thoughts and communication, and you probably did communicate. You really reached out to this person. Now, what does this mean? You might have extended yourself. I think... Um, maybe you, in, in another way of looking at the Six of Swords here and how you're feeling about them, is uh, maybe you kind of made up excuses for them. Um, if they told you something, you may have uh, went, in, uh, went towards them with your thinking, meaning like, well, I can't talk to you uh, for the next uh, two days, whatever, uh, because, and logically you might think, well, they're obviously married, whatever, and... Uh, but you tell yourself something else or you allow yourself to kind of believe, you know, because I don't really think with this you're actually moving towards them um, except for verbally, you know, right? And in your own mind here, it's like you're looking here <laughs> for something, no? Um, trying to make a decision. And I always say with the two of wands, it's, uh, it's not so much to me the A or B decision, it's the stay or go decision. Two of Pentacles, like A or B decision. Is it A or is it B? Two of Wands is more like stay or go. Um, and I think like when it comes to this person, that's kind of where the bottom of the deck comes in. Because I think this is you. It's You're looking into the reading here. Um, and the bottom of the deck energy. Uh, so you're kind of, uh, you were kind of on the, hunt anyway there's some feeling inside of you uh maybe this is a passionate feeling too um uh, that's drawn to this person and it might uh i see this a lot as just showing us that generally the energy is now we're ready i hate to say it but then often what comes is these uh, various names speed bump soulmates uh um, um relationships lessonships that come um and I kind of wonder with this one, I don't even know, it, maybe it was consummated. It, surely if it's your reading, it seems like some kind of affairs. Well, I kind of had trouble struggling with this because I normally don't have two readings in a row with affairs, but we are talking about the energy of who you can't get out of your mind. So, yeah, I mean, almost by its nature, I think there's a toxicity to it. 
But also, I think, why well, I like to do these readings, there's a lesson there for us, which is the important thing. Um, so, with the Ten of Wands, you know, I, I think there probably was uh, a fair, and um, they're responding to you. But, you know, it's costing them a lot. It's taking them a lot of effort. Uh, there, there may be difficulty just actually doing something that enables them to be with you. Uh, and layers of uh, difficulties with this Ten of Wands, okay? Uh, telling the wife, the husband stories maybe ahead of time i mean it's it's uh, these things it's like uh, my feeling about this is more psychic than astrology um it's lie after lie because look you got the devil here is the advice guys this is advice for spirit if you're cross watching or if you share this i'd love this to be the way you use this spirits advising that uh you know you have this devil energy going on of obsessions and sexual obsessions and um, this kind of dark uh, energy um, so it's like they're also paying like this high cost and I think on their part there's probably some kind of awareness you know this this ten of wands with the devil here and the devil being advice you know I, I, the spirit's not going to advise you to be the devil I know it could be I mean I had it once sometimes it gives me great sex you know but no um, and it probably is that. That really could be a lot of it. You know, maybe with this Ten of Cups, you know, it's it's not that unusual. You know, this person is maybe not the best uh, sexual part they've ever had. Maybe they're just bored, you know. Um, but I have the feeling that this person's, like, pulled away from you. There's probably, like, no contact, you know. Um, and this was hard on you. With this, this Six of Swords, I've never really seen this in this position. Uh, it, I gotta be honest with you, it's a little bit of the feeling like someone here is throwing themselves at someone. So maybe you threw yourself at them. There could have been a rejection involved. Now, comes in for you, your advice for spirit, which I think is uh, maybe the most important card in this reading. Because now I think the reading shifts as this heart spread, really you. And the outcome is all about you, Aries. I don't Because I don't really think there's a relationship here, but we almost knew that going in. Um, but you're being reminded that uh, you're the king of pentacles. And this goes back to looking. And this goes back to being this page. You know, page, it doesn't have to be immature. It can just be that first action that you take. You know, that first action. And I got a feeling that this whole situation was a first action. Like love at first sight. Or the, you kind of made up your mind or not your mind. You, your feelings changed. The, the sap started throw, uh, flowing. And the first kind of person you laid eyes on, like that that was the one, you know. So, I, like, I don't see you out, like, running around and sowing wild oats or anything. Um, so, it, but it, there's obviously this obsession, you know. And I think they're seeing it with this devil. And if not, that's their advice. They need to see it, you know. We're, I think you know what I'm talking about. This is your, your reading. It's very important that you're being advised to be the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles knows their self-worth. They don't play at all. They You don't gaslight the king of pentacles. It's not a possibility. It's not in the realm possibility. And I think the world card here, now that's the Saturn card, um, which you can look at Saturn and right now even by transit it's in Aquarius it may have some relevance to your chart Aries I don't know what house it is depends on your rising you know uh if you're at Aries rising in your 11th house but um there's something about this relationship I think that's very important when I said the soulmate speed bump um or our uh, lesson ship I think that's what we're doing here there's this lesson ship here. And the outcome is incredible. Um, and I want to clarify the lesson ship, guys. And get some clarity here. Wow. And look at this, guys. <laughs> I want to clarify what the lesson is. Because now, I'm sorry. Because there's a lesson, that doesn't mean that there's a relationship. Um, that would be a lesson. But here's your advice. Be the king of pinnacles. And how am I clarifying this world energy, the Saturn energy, the Queen of Pentacles? 
God forgive me for saying this, but this is the advice from Spirit to realize that now you have found the one. Ta-da! And it's you, Aries. Forgive me. But yes, that's, honestly, that's powerfully what this is saying here. You know? Um, and, you know, very most likely, there's a lesson involved for your person here, too. And, you know, if there is any question, yes, your soulmates. I don't think we bump into anyone on the street that isn't by design, honestly, at this point. Um, but surely there's stuff going on here. But here, you have to learn this for you. Because what you walk away with is temperance as an outcome. And I'm not just saying this as a Sag. You know, but this is, the, I think, the highest octave of Sagittarius. And look what's coming between the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Wands here. So both of these angst and uh, difficulty, you know, and frustration and effort and even like a sense of exhaustion six of wands is that desperate energy of leaving escaping something uh you know um it's not like the healthy exit of a relationship it's not the uh, healthy way of dealing with something it's like just kind of you got to just escape because you can't stand it anymore so coming in between this is you moving in becoming the king and queen of pentacles my god you're becoming completely whole and solid, you know. Um, and with the temperance energy, I'm a Sag, it's, it's not so much patience. It's this feeling inside that everything's okay, everything's fine, feeling good actually, feeling like, wow, feeling energy, feeling aligned, not, not feeling any problems. And so just going about your business, and it's about flowing, flowing. You see the angel, you know, mixing the water back and forth in the goblets, you know. And this is an angel, Aries, and I, I'm big on, on this. Uh, heart spread can be used very well to find your angel. This becomes your angel over here uh, instead of, you know, a potential lover. And uh, you simply have changed your reading. Um, it implies this is all under angelic direction. And if you don't see that and feel that now, and I, hope, I imagine your spirit, I don't mean to be so directive, but my feeling is if you don't feel or see how angelically protected and, and, and guided that you are uh, now, I think you will see this um, um, very soon. That's what the outcome of this is. It's not really about this person. Um, it's really about your own feelings inside and you know once you're in this king queen energy you put this all in perspective and you can just laugh about it and say hey, well, it was young and dumb and full of cum that's, cool. that's all because you'll be cool you'll be like sag let's roll i was young i was dumb i was full of cum so what let's live let's do it what are we going to do today what's up thank you guys let me know how you like that Please leave a comment. Likes are really helpful. Um, please subscribe. Hit that bell. Thank you, guys.